I too believe that Stephen Curry is the most influential player in the NBA, more than Jordan, more than Kobe, and more than LeBron. And I say this with very good reason, because those guys are all great. There's a lot of great influential guys in the NBA, but I say Steph Curry is the most influential based on the fact that everybody in the NBA today lives and dies by the three balls in today's game. Literally, any team you watch, they're chucking up threes. You're going to see centers shooting threes. You're going to see power forwards shooting threes, small forwards, point guards, shooting guards, six man, seventh man. You're going to see everybody who comes on the floor take at least one three at some point in time. The game has changed tremendously because of Steph Curry. And now executives have begun to realize that three points is now greater than two after we witnessed Steph Curry go on a run like he did and win his championships. And now all of a sudden, every position in basketball is allowed to shoot threes. Back when you look at 10 years ago, it was banished for a center to start chucking threes in a game. It was insane for them to even step foot behind a three-point line and pump fake. You were getting out the game. You were getting tossed to the bench if you even thought about it. <laughs> like So now all of a sudden, it's a high percentage shot. So the league and fans all realize that shooting trumps athleticism, which we've previously glorified in the past generations of the NBA. So, you know, shooting has become the most important component when you're evaluating basketball talent because of Steph Curry. So to me, I'm like, yes, this is definitely one of the most influential guys. And this is not to say that, you know, other guys weren't because when I say this, I'm more so meaning there, these guys like Kobe, Mike, Jordan, Shaq, Wilt, they changed the game. They all are in extremely influential, but not every one of those guys have changed the, the entire game for every single position. Steph Curry has changed the game for every single position in basketball. Now it's acceptable for every single position in basketball to shoot a three-pointer if you know you can knock it down. And I look at other guys too, even LeBron. LeBron thrived at positionless basketball because now, you know, we're in an era where guys above six, seven can literally play one through five if they can handle the rock and be smart with the ball. That's credit to LeBron and him really, really dominating at positionless basketball and showing everybody that he can do everything no matter what position he's playing on the floor. But again, this only applies to a select few guys. People who are 6'7 and above can only do this. You're not going to watch a guy who's 6'3 play positionless basketball. It's not happening. And I say the same thing with Jordan. Going back to Jordan, you're not going to watch it, uh, watch a center take flight, switch hands in the air and stuff like that. It's, no, it's not happening. Only a select few guys can are affected by the way they change the game. Same with LeBron. Same with Kobe because Kobe was just like Jordan. Even Allen Iverson, who's one of my personal favorites, everybody wanted to cross over. But I'd be damned if I watch a center try and shake and bake somebody from the three-point line and drive. No, hell no. We see Joel Embiid and other guys tend to do it now. But that's also because they, be they began to be a threat from the three-point line. Nobody has, has made the three more transcendent than Steph Curry, man. And because of that, you go play a game of pickup basketball. You go play a game. You, you watch a G League game. You watch a college game. You watch an NBA game. You're going to watch a lot of guys chuck threes because that's what the game has evolved to. But specifically in the NBA, this is now a shooter's league in the NBA. Prior to that, you, it, it was a lot of claim to athleticism. It was a lot of a noise about... This guy's so athletic. This guy can jump high. This guy can create shots by going to the rim, doing reverses, and all of this, all of these different athletic tendencies. But now people realize all that going to the rim and, and reverse layups and dunking and jumping and, and trying to force the defender use your body, all that stuff take a lot of energy, bro. You know, you save a lot more energy if you shoot a three-pointer and you get more points. So <laughs> people are starting to realize that, yeah, it's a little bit easier to shoot threes when you can make it because you save yourself some energy. And then also, too, like it's three points and that's going to always be worth more than two. So, you know, Steph Curry, I stand on that statement. Steph Curry, for sure, for sure, has influenced the game more than Mike, more than Kobe. And more, more than uh, Shaq, more than LeBron, specifically in the NBA. Because right now it's a shooter's league, and I don't think it'll ever go back to being a league that, that really 
uh, praises athleticism like we've seen in the past. Everybody's praising shooting. You can't even be considered a good player nowadays if you don't know how to shoot the ball. You literally are, are considered an average guy or someone who's below average if you don't know how to shoot the ball in today's game. So that says it alone that, you know, Steph Curry has already influenced the NBA to, to that great of an extent.